Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, nice to meet you. Uh, today, my video is going to be all about the power of makeup. I know this has been done many times, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I've never done it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Real quick though, I want to touch base on my Halo journey as of so far. I have been taking the Halo Beauty Hair, Skin, and Nails Booster for about two weeks, I think. At least close to two weeks. And already, I see a huge difference. So, this may be TMI, but uh, I'm sure other women can agree with me that I'm one of those women who, when it's about to be that time of the month, I break out badly, usually around my chin area and maybe a little like up in my hairline. And my last time of the month, I did not have a single breakout, not even a single pimple. So I do have like a little thing going on right here right now, but it's so tiny and minuscule. Like other than that, my skin is looking great. I am loving my hair more than ever, and I have pretty strong nails anyway, and I know they look a little rough right now, but they're already looking healthy as well. So, highly recommend the Halo, but I will go ahead and finish my first month, and that will be my next check-in with you guys when it comes to Halo. So, I am sure most of you already know what the Power of Makeup Challenge is, and from what I can tell in the few videos that I watched, you only do half of your face with makeup and all that good stuff. And then you leave the other half completely how you look without makeup all the time. So I am moisturized. I did a lip scrub and I have chapstick on at the moment. I am going to put primer on all of my face just because that's usually what I do if I'm leaving the house and I don't have time to do my makeup. I have primer on everywhere. So I am going to do primer on my whole face, but everything else will just be on one side. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do my left side, which will be my right to you guys. I think I'm going to do that. And the two palettes that I plan on using today are the Saharan 2 and the Zulu palette. There's the Zulu. Very pretty. Here's the color story. I'm sure most of you already know that, but there's the color story on the Zulu. And then here's the Saharan 2. I have not even used this palette yet. I had another one that I gave to my daughter. So I'm going to try and use both of these palettes today. And I am also trying something that is new and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus rose three in one primer water so it's prep set and refresh here's what it looks like so i will be using this today as well for the first time so i'm excited to see how that works if you are new to my channel uh i just want to let you guys know i usually say this in every single video my husband is playing his video game so if you hear some yelling in the background that is why I am going to be going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is my ish right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the areas where I want it, and I will come back and show you what foundation I will be using. Alright guys, so I am all primed up everywhere where I wanted it. I usually just definitely put it on my forehead, my nose, my nose drives me crazy, right in this area here right here my chin and then sometimes I will be a little heavy and put it all over my face but today I just put it in the areas where I really need it and we are going to go ahead and start with our foundation as usual I am going in with my wet n wild photo focus foundation in nude ivory this is my holy grail this is usually the only foundation that I go to. I have plenty of foundations, but this is definitely my favorite. So 
this is what I'm gonna stick with today. Okay, so obviously I have never done the makeup challenge of the power of makeup. So this should be fun and interesting for me. I'm very excited about it though, like so excited for it. I absolutely love doing videos for you guys, so this one will be fun because I've never done one like this. So, yay! And I do want to say thank you to everybody who has been subscribing to my channel lately. I seriously appreciate it and I think it's awesome. Also, I'm using my AOA Beauty Blender today as usual because this is my favorite right now. So let's just go ahead and speed through and get this foundation on. I totally did my right side, which will be your guy's left. So sorry about that. Apparently that is just habit for me to start on my right side So I wanted to point that out real quick because I did say I was going to do my left side and that is not what I did So we are just going to go ahead and move on to concealer. Can you guys see a difference already? I told you I'm working on getting a better camera, but I can totally see the difference already I think I went over a little bit too far, but I tried to keep it as half and half as I could but yeah it's definitely different already. So for concealer today, I, of course, am going in with my e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. And I believe this is, yep, light peach. This is my favorite one at the moment, so let's go ahead and put that on. To set my concealer today. I am going to go in with my Cody Airspun and this is in the translucent extra coverage. I have come to really appreciate this powder and I do prefer to put it on with my brush. That's just my preference. I feel like it looks better on me when I do it that way so that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to go in with my, no, actually, where's my good one? Okay, I found it. This is just a little Moda brush, and it's my favorite to use for my powder under my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Oh, I just love makeup. Oh. All right guys, my under eyes are all set. I'm going to bronze next. I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I love this very much. I use it a lot, but it's very good. I like it. This is light medium, I believe. Yes, light to medium. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up real quick. Next for blush, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Blush Collection. I love, love, love this. I'm just going to go ahead and use the second blush right here in the palette. I'm really loving this one lately. I think I went in a little heavy on my bronze and blush today, but I actually think it looks kind of pretty like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. And I am going to move on to highlighter. And I am going to be going ahead and using Jeffree Star's Skin Frost in Lavender Snow. I haven't really got to wear this one yet, so I'm definitely excited. It's so pretty. Let me see if I can get it to pick up and go to for you guys on camera. And that's just a little swatch of it. Obviously, I'm not going to have it on that heavy, but it's just super, super pretty, and I love this. Mm. Got, Isn't that got, beautiful, you guys? Oh, 
So I'm going to now go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1. I did not use this for a prep, but I am going to use it as a set real quick before we go into our eyes and see how it works. I totally just doused my whole face in it, but that's just habit. Let me say though, this stuff is... My lid's like cracked. I don't know how that happened, but this smells really, really good, you guys. Like, really good. And it feels really nice. I really like that. I'm really glad I decided to pick that up. If any of you guys have used it, let me know down below and let me know what you think about it. This is my first time using it, so I like it so far, and hopefully it's not something that's going to break me out because I've had such good luck with my skin. We are moving on to eyes, my beautifuls, and I am going to prime my eyes today with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I haven't used this in a while, but I remember really liking it when I used it before, so. I would like to apologize for continuing to make it sound like we are doing both sides of my face. I primed my eye, not my eyes, my eye is prime, so I think I'm going to start off with the Saharan 2 palette, and I think, well, let me see here. Maybe we will start with the Zulu. No, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the color Taza. I hope I'm saying that right, T-A-Z-A, -A, and I'm just going to put that in my crease. Okay guys, I have that first shade down, Taza, or however it's pronounced. I really hope I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, I am sorry, I apologize. But I have it how I want it, just a little winged out, up a little bit. I usually bring my eyeshadows up a little higher because I like it like that, but today I'm just gonna keep it low and simple. And I'm going to go in with the Zulu palette next with this brown shade that is in here. You know, that weird random shade in here with all the rest of the pretty colors. And I'm just going to deepen up my outer corner and my crease a little bit. And then I'm actually going to do something a little different for me today. I'm hoping it looks as good as I'm thinking in my head, but we will see when we get there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take this orange out of the Zulu palette. Like I said, this could get a little weird, but I'm here to try and learn and see what I like. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my lid right here. And then one more step with the eyeshadow and we will move on. You know, now that I put that orange on, I wish I would have done a cut crease with it because that would have looked even better. But I'm still happy with it. I still think it looks pretty and that orange is really pretty. So I'm definitely going to have to do way more looks with these palettes. I absolutely love them. But to finish off the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with this shimmer orange called Marrakesh. Marrakesh, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. But I'm just going to go in with a wet brush and put that all over that orange that I just laid down. For my inner corner today, I'm going to go in with this pretty champagne-y shade called Aziza, Aziza, I'm sorry guys, I know I am just shredding these <laughs> names in here, but I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my inner corner, and I think we will move on to eyeliner and mascara from there. I seriously love these palettes and I cannot wait to do more looks for you guys with them because they are just beautiful. I absolutely love this look. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I absolutely love this look, you guys. Those palettes are so gorgeous and I cannot wait to do more. So I did take that shade that I used in my inner corner and I did put it um, on my brow bone. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm like losing track of what I'm saying. 
So I am going to go in with two mascaras today. This is, oh my gosh, I don't even remember. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big. This is just a little sample I got from Ulta. And then I got this in an Ipsy bag. This is from It Cosmetics, the Superhero Mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and apply both of those. And I am going to put my eyeliner on from e.l.f. And I'm thinking if I should go in with some white liner and put maybe another pop of color, like maybe one of those greens. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So it's time for lips, and I am super nervous that I am going to use a color that does not go well with it, but whatever it's for fun so I am going to go in with a Jeffree Star Floor liquid lipstick this is in the shade human nature I hope that's not upside down there we go perfect so I'm going to put that on half of my lips and uh, let's see the finished outcome Okay, beautifuls, we are all finished here. So here is my power of makeup video. Let's see. That is so crazy. You guys will have to let me know in the comments how I did. All right, beautifuls, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Everything I used in this video, I will link in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and like this video. If you are new and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and go check out some of my other videos that I have. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I have many more coming and I definitely have many, many, many more ideas now that I've actually used both of those Juvia's Place palettes together. I'm just in love. I'm stunned. So again, everything will be linked below. I will link all of my social media below as well and comment below how you guys think I did and if you liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye beautifuls.